Hello there guys, welcome to a brand new video. Today we are looking at Championship Manager 0102 Best Wingers. Um, as you can see here, um, whenever you want to use wingers on the game, they are incredibly useful for many of things. Uh, we're going to start off here with David Beckham. Now obviously his main attribute is the crossing and the set pieces. Um, he does move, you know, in this game. He's, he's not someone that I sort of see standing still for the whole game. So people do come in for a bid for him and he does decide to go. He is 19 million at the beginning of the game. Um, he, he's a class player, but I think he's someone that can be turned just simply because I think the game has set him as a bit of a diva on this game and he probably wants to move anyway. Uh, next one down is a young Ronaldinho, 21-year-old Ronaldinho. So many people look for this guy on the game, 15 caps, 9 goals for Brazil. His stats speak for themselves. As a 21-year-old, PSG are not going to let this guy go for cheap money. He's already 7 million for a 21-year-old. Um, he is a foreign player as well when you do buy him, so just be careful and make sure that you don't overdo your squad with too many foreign players. Uh, he has just joined from Gremio as well, so it might be a case that you got to sort of leave him for a season to sort of bed into your European football, and then after that you can possibly put a bid in for him, depending on how it is. His contract is until 2006, so don't really expect a new contract to ha take place uh, before that time. Next one is Joe Cole, one of the best players, in my opinion, on this game. Um, now, I like this guy because he can play, obviously, on the left wing, as his, as his position says at the bottom there. But as well as that, he can also play behind the strikers, where, I've, I, where I sometimes do play him. Now, the reason why I do that is because these things here, agility 20, flair 20, uh, technique 20, set pieces 20, determination 18, dribbling 15, balance 18, um, acceleration 18. These are all key attributes for a player who is just going to sit in behind those strikers and I do like to play him there sometimes which gives a bit of freedom for different wingers to come in and build uh, around them uh, now the really good thing with Joe Cole is West Ham are really rubbish on this game uh, most of the time they get relegated from the league and he has a relegation release clause of 2.8 million just keep an eye on him I wouldn't go in straight away I think normally the likes of Celtic go in for him at the start of the game um, I would just add him to your shortlist just so you know what's going on with him and obviously if if teams bid for him you know you need to match their bid at that time but as the season goes on you'll notice that West Ham will do incredibly poor and they'll probably get relegated from the Premier League which then you know this stipulation comes in for you where you can get him for 2.8 million uh, next one down is Luke Chadwick. He may have looked ugly at the time, but actually as a player on this, on Championship Manager 0102, he is absolutely phenomenal. Um, his stats don't look too great at the minute, but as he goes throughout the game, he is going to get better and better. Now, it's really bizarre with this because I've just shown you David Beckham um, on this game, and I, I see so many times that you know, the, like Sir Alex Ferguson on this game goes for Luke Chadwick over David Beckham in that right side of midfield which then means that David Beckham gets unhappy and he wants to move now you're kind of in a win-win situation because I've given you two players here that um, you know they're fighting for the same position so one of them is going to be out of favour so you can put in a bid for one of them obviously Giggs is going to play on that left side of midfield you know there's no getting away from that they have a very strong midfield so that always opens up the possibility that either Chadwick or Beckham will want to leave the club next one is Iron Robin He's, he's young, he's 17. Problem with Iron Robin is his fee to PSV has already been agreed on this game. Um, but I would just keep an eye on him anyway, even though he's going to PSV. Just keep an eye and just see his stats. I'd definitely scout him so all this comes up for you, his attributes. Um, but he is an incredibly good player with, with a really bright future. Uh, next one is Stephen Reed from Millwall. Um, not a lot of people go for this guy when, when you think of, um, of wingers. I actually really like him for 240 grand and you know he's not on the, the biggest wage at the moment. Millwall have some gems in here like Tim Cahill, Phil Ifill, um, obviously now you've got Stephen Reid. Um, these are really good players that you can sort of poach from, from a lower level so i definitely have a look at Stephen Reid. Uh, next one is the legend himself, Julius Agahawa. Um, I'm going to say the same thing as I did about Joe Cole here in the sense that I like to play him as an attacking midfielder rather than a winger in this sense. But he is absolutely phenomenal to play on the wing as well. Um, you know, you can pretty much put this guy anywhere you want. This is why I've put him in this in this winger category. Um, but I think in, if, if I was saying to you to get the best out of him, I would say attacking midfielder, definitely. Uh, next one down is Raphael van der Vaart. Uh, he plays on the left side of midfield. Again, you've got to scout him. He's only 120 grand on this at the moment, but they, they do end up wanting more for him. Um, you know, that's because he is a regular there playing 32 games a previous season. 
Um, so yeah, he is. Kim Kallstrom, he is one. He's the one who sits behind your attackers. Whenever I get this guy in the game, that's exactly where he plays in that attacking midfield role. Um, but you know, he can also play on the wing as well if you know he feels the need to. Um, but it's really your decision where you want to play him. But I'm just showing you this guy because of 18 years of age with a very, very short price tag and already an international player with Sweden with two caps. He is one that you definitely want to look forward to um, and get into your squad as soon as you possibly can and watch him build uh, because that's that's where the, you know, where the money comes in. You know, you buy him for such a short fee and then obviously, say for example, you bring someone else in as the years goes on, you realise, actually, I don't need him. Someone's going to come in with a pretty high bid for this guy. Uh, finally, the last one. I can never say this guy, so I'm going to call him Kennedy. Um, a really, really good winger, a really good right-sided winger. Uh, set pieces aren't so good, but this guy does develop. Again, he's you know already capped for Sweden. Sweden actually have a really good team when you think about some of those players that are in there. You got because they've got Zlatan as well in this game. Um, yeah, he's a really good player. You can see he's already in the first team for Hammerby. Um, I would definitely go for him, especially with just a 50 grand price tag on him. Contracts up in 03, which means that they're probably going to want to renew it soon. Again, always keep an eye out for that contract stipulation of the minimum fee release clause. Uh, anyway, guys, they are my top 10 wingers or attacking midfielders, should I say, um, that I would recommend that you go for. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to hit that like button and subscribe. And most importantly, if you think that I've missed anybody out, maybe more of a young talent, because we, we all know the likes of David Beckham and Ronaldinho and Joe Cole on this game. I'm thinking more along the lines of your Kim Kallstrom's and, you know, your Stephen Reed's. Um, please drop a comment below and tell me, you know, who are your hacks that you go to whenever you come across um, some wingers like this. Okay, guys, I'll see you guys later. Bye.